Alright, so what we decided to do here is we're gonna leave the top as is. We're gonna take some of this weight away here that's kind of make it look a little thinner in the top here. So we're gonna take some of this out, do like a medium to low fade, and then you're cleaning up your beard as well. You line it up? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Alright, do you want anything off the, the beard? Uh, no. No? Okay, so we'll just clean it up. Maybe lower it around the mustache? Yeah, even yeah, it out, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. And then bald, right? Bald on the mustache. Alright, let's do it, bro. What's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing? Guys, you guys saw the consultation, so we're gonna just blast through the sides here with a number three all the way up above the parietal ridge. It's a little bit blurry right now, but I promise I fix it. Um, and I've gotten better at this. My next videos are gonna be on point because um, I'm listening to my to my viewers when they say, just put it on manual, Chris. So uh, this is an older tutorial that I've had in the chamber. Um, Nonetheless, it's a good one. And so, yeah, we're doing a number three on the sides to clear up the bulk. And again, coming off the ridge, we do want to keep that squared shape. And that's why this is important. And the reason why I'm going so low here on the sides, like I said in the consultation, was to take away from his lighter recession. All right, so right beneath that number three, we're doing a two guard open. And we're just going through and making sure we're cutting it as even as possible because already I could see he's gonna have, you know, some some lighter and dark areas, which is fine. Um, lately, that's all I've been getting is a, a little bit more difficult to fade <laughs> haircuts. So um, we're used to it by now. All right, so beneath that two open, we're doing a number two closed. And you can see I'm constantly combing the hair, constantly trying to open up um, these hairs and, and, and get an even nice cut. I'm noticing as I get to his hairline, it's getting a little bit lighter, so we're gonna keep that in mind. Um, and because I'm noticing that, I went ahead and just started the bald line, that way I can gauge that as I'm fading down um, and creating the bald fade. Now I do like to leave the bottom hair um, below the initial guideline a lot of times because it just gives you contrast it helps you see the fade a little bit easier um, so I, I, I kind of wish I would have done that here as opposed to clear out the bulk because this is gonna be a little bit of a challenging fade all right so next we're gonna use the blade all the way open to create our guideline So now we have two guidelines. We have, we have our initial guideline, we have our blade open line. And so these guidelines are just gonna help us stay organized throughout the entire cut. All right, so remember, we finished off last with the two guard close. So we're gonna continue to fade down. We're gonna use our one and a half guard all the way open and then close it little by little as we go down. But we're not, we're, we're not gonna close it and then go a half inch below where we just left off. We're going to close it some and go right beneath where we left off. As long as you're not creating another guideline, um, you'll, you'll be straight. So right beneath that, we're going to go ahead and use our one guard all the way open and then our one guard all the way closed. And it should start blending out that first guideline there at the top. You can see we're attacking. Now, it won't do it all the way, but that's why you have a half guard. So my half guard is... Um, almost all the way open and we're closing it little by little until that guideline is gone and then after this step the only thing you have left to do is that bottom initial guideline I hop back to that black guard because I saw some little some spots. I, I generally don't recommend doing this. Um, I was probably just in my zone. I would just get through the fade, line it up, and then go back in detail. All right, so we're taking out this bottom line little by little, going all the way close and opening it as we go up, and that's just gonna blend everything together. If for whatever reason there's still a bottom line there, I know some of y'all's clippers are, are set different than mine. I'm using a taper blade and I have adjusted it so that it does cut closer. 
um but i know everybody's using different type of clippers if you have an issue with that bottom line just use use your trimmers to take it out i generally don't have an issue with it but it could be just because you know my trimmer my clippers are set a little bit different and you can see he's got like little subtle scars here on the side do you see that that's not really a line where i'm where i'm working that's kind of like a little scar area but i'm, I'm still trying to make it look like it's not a line so I, i'll spend some time in that area and right here in this area too there, there's like a, a little scar but the fade is coming together man Right? And then the last step would be um, the lineup, or actually the lineup and then the shaver. But I already feel like by cutting down the sides, um, it looks so much better than him having a whole bunch of bulk on the sides and then a taper. Um, that's my opinion. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and do the same steps here on this side. And I'm going to shut up for a second and let you guys follow along with the color guide. Let me know if I explained the left side correct enough that you were able to follow along on this right side. Let me know in the comments below. All right, you guys can see it's coming together. We're gonna go ahead and start balling out the back here. And then one of the most important parts that people kind of overlook is definitely the shaver. So we gotta, we gotta use a shaver that's gonna make it pop even more. It's gonna make it look as light as possible at, at the bottom and as dark as possible at the top. Lining up this corner right here and this vertical bar, as my boy Gib Beam would like to call it pass the shaver on this side as well. All right, now the beard, he, he didn't want a lot off, but so I'm just gonna blend it in. I'm just gonna make sure that it looks, it looks pretty even. Um, but I would agree, I think that if the, if he leaves the length, it'll it'll look better overall with the lineup. All right, and so like I said in consultation, I definitely want to lighten the mustache up because it looked a lot darker than the top of the beard. Now 
we'll start to clean it up. I decided to give him a C cup just to make the cut, the fade look a little bit lower um, than it is. And the reason why it, it, you know, it looks a little bit higher than it is, is because around his hairline it's a little bit lighter. Um, but I think that by doing that C cup, it makes the fade look lower. Like you can see from this angle, it looks lower than it was. All right. And now we're gonna go ahead and start to line them up. But I'm using, I'm using the shears to get to give it more of a cropped look in the front. Especially when it dries up, it'll look fuller that way, I feel like. And this side of his beard, it dips down towards the bottom of his lip a little bit, um, the side of his beard. So we're, we're still gonna line it up as if it connects to the top of the mustache, like the other side does. Um, I mean, that would be the preference that I would want on myself. I wouldn't want it to be a harsh line and um, line it up, you know, the way it naturally wants to grow. All right, and here goes the razor work. One of my favorite parts of the cut. So you guys can see how I kind of follow through and just, I pretend that it does connect to the top of the mustache here. Because it does on this side. Shout out to my cousin Tito for the beat. Remember, if you guys need beats, man, that you could use for YouTube or for your, for your own music, there'll be a link in the description below where you can sign up um, for very low fee, very cheap, I feel like, and you'll get five new beats every single month. One tagged, you can choose either tagged beats or not having tagged beats. All right, we finish everything off with the shaver at the neck. And we're gonna enhance the cut using 245, no drip, and the Beam Team XL. You can get it at 245.com. The Beam Teams are on back order, but we do ship them almost on a monthly basis. And um, so if you're, you're on back order, then that's your spot in line. All right, I put some clay in his hair. I styled, oh no, I put some 245 powder in his hair, styled it, and this is the cut, guys. I appreciate you guys watching, man. Um, we are dropping daily content every day. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the last 60 days we dropped every single day. And I appreciate the continued support, guys. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe. Smash the like button. Let me know what you thought about the cut in the comment section below. Love y'all. See you on the next video.